We are TNM News. Hi, everyone. I'm Christine Sclafani, and welcome to part one of a five-part series. Is cannabis good for us? The public's perception of cannabis is changing. Once seen as a gateway drug, it is now being embraced by the medical community and revered for its therapeutic benefits. From relieving pain to reducing nausea, cannabis has been shown to improve quality of life in many who use it. But what are the benefits of marijuana? While more research is needed on the long-term effects of this drug, here are some immediate health benefits that have been proven by extensive scientific research. Marijuana is one of the best painkillers around and has been used for medicinal purposes for centuries. The chemicals in marijuana known as cannabinoids interact with receptors in the brain and body that help regulate movement, coordination, balance, memory, and pleasure. When you use marijuana, the cannabinoids interact with receptors in your central nervous system to reduce pain and inflammation. Marijuana is classified as being cannabis sativa. This plant, known for its versatility, has also been known to help even with seizures in those suffering from this debilitating disease. Another plant that shows remarkable pain-killing effects is spearmint. Together with cannabidiol, Spearmint actually has more anti-inflammatory and pain-killing abilities than does cannabis. Research shows that clove oil, eucalyptus, and black pepper possess inhibitory and anti-inflammatory effects similar to that of THC. Disrupting the metabolism and disrupting the bioavailability of THC can cause an increased risk of experiencing adverse effects. It's worth noting that these are only temporary, so taking counteractive medications can easily reverse the effects of consuming these plants. As far back as 1916, scientists had discovered the two compounds present in cannabis that were responsible for its healing benefits. One compound, tetrahydrocannabinol, is most commonly known as THC, the psychoactive compound directly responsible for the high experienced by users, but also referred to as THC. THC, along with its anti-inflammatory and euphoric effects, is what gives cannabis its famous effects. When consumed, THC binds to the CB1 receptors on the surface of your brain, resulting in pain relief. There are also CB2 receptors found throughout the entire body, including immune cells as well as bone cells. The CB1 receptors are responsible for something known as neuropathic pain, which can occur from following trauma, toxins, nerve damage, or arthritis. When the CB2 receptors are attracted to these pain receptors, they are inhibited. This means that THC and cannabidiol relieve pain by blocking these receptors. These two cannabinoids have also been proven to be neuroprotective against neurodegenerative conditions such as Parkinson's. For more cannabis content, head on over to tnmnews.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel at the National Marijuana News. Don't forget to give us a follow on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at National MJ News. Thanks for watching and stay lifted. We are TNM News.